sharing and being heard, um, I think is the basic human need. By understanding other people's culture, it makes it so much easier to be able to live in peace and harmony. The more we appreciate other people, the next culture we don't know we run across, we're probably going to be more open to learning about that one. It's important to share in order to keep people um, informed about why these cultures exist. This mall, this whole Smithsonian folk life does year after year. I've been coming for years since before my son was born. And to see the, kind, the way people participate, you see that people have it in them still, that they want to do this, you know? And that's what this mall does. At, it's excellent year after year is get people, connect people, and, and that can undo racist thoughts of, that people might have. Uh, ideas about cultures that they thought were true and are not, right? Get a kind of understanding, right? And, and, that's, and it's through music and art. And that's the beauty of it for me. It's so important and so crucial to share aspects of our culture. Maybe someone's gonna walk away and buy an, a, an album of Afghan music. And so hopefully, through through having this dialogue of music and food and, and the arts, some people might, uh, we might change someone's heart. We feel so proud of us, for our culture, our traditions. But really, you, we need to share, to show, to open, to exchange. And then it's only the way to try to continue living. So I think it's important for spaces like this, like the Folk Life Festival, to exist because to highlight people's culture, culture is defined as uh, art or an action or an event that's collectively agreed upon by a group of people. And I think to broaden that, to, to gravitate towards other cultures and find ways to mirror and bridge those together, this is a great space for that. I think it's very important because it definitely leads to understanding. It definitely leads to solidarity with from everything from the, the positives of a community to the ills of a community. And that is one way that we can get that and create that impact towards social change that we need. And I think it definitely starts with events like this. Además, eh, dijéramos que actividades como el festival me, me acaban dando la razón que cuando un país necesita mostrar a la gente o a otro país su cultura, siempre tiene que agarrarse y tirar de los oficios eh, que realmente le, le representan y le diferencian. ¿no? Dentro de que en, en nuestra sociedad al final todos somos cada vez más iguales, sí tenemos todos, tenemos matices que, que nos diferencian y que nos hacen eh, ser como somos, ¿no? nos dan ese carácter de, de como somos. I think it's important to share culture because when we share where we come from, we can remember remember what our ancestors did that allowed us to be here to this day. And as we share culture, we're also creating new culture for the future generations to come. So it's important to, to not just like be all about tradition, but also like honor innovation and new ideas. To the extent that we're all seeking a way to ideally, hopefully, peacefully coexist with one another, part of that requires our ability to communicate with one another. I mean, language is one of the purest forms of culture insofar as these are passed down, they're unique to each community. And in order for us to communicate, we have to learn how to cross-culturally figure out what are those symbols, what do these words mean to one another. Um, but that, that doesn't just apply to linguistics, you know, having an understanding of each other's food, each other's music, each other's art. These are all ways that allow us to communicate better with one another. And the better we can communicate, the better we can coexist with one another in a way that is not just peaceful, but also is constructive and is, it allows us to sort of build the future together in solidarity.